ladies and gentlemen welcome again to another episode of let's talk yeah let's talk brought to you by your host truly big step right so uh in today uh topic i want to talk about the world market right yep you heard that right the world market what exactly do i mean by the world is a market the world is a market because uh, it depends on what skill you are bringing to the market, right? Whatever skill you are bringing to the market, there are people that are always going to be willing to pay you for the service that you are providing. But for all of those people that are not successful, so some people that are wondering, they don't know where to begin, they don't know where to start. Well, this podcast is for you. I'm here to let you know that it always starts with you. You. The only difference between tomorrow and yesterday or today is you you are the center of attention here you are the one that is going to make your life change you are the one that is going to change your life so let's get right into it the world is a market and in the market everybody bring their product and when you bring your product depending on the quality or the quantity of your product you will have people that are going to be willing to pay you for that product for example in your neighborhood there might be houses out there that are not clean or not necessarily clean but where the yard is messed up right they need uh, the grass need to be cut and you see that as a problem and you decide to provide a solution what solution can you provide well you can start right away your grass cutting business right you have more law or uh, you know those type of business that is going to be able to provide you money how do you get the money is by going right after those property owner would you know bad loan or um, say hey uh I, I i will cut your grass right now if you can pay me xyz or you can even decide to go ahead and give the first service for free because i guarantee you every anytime you are able to give anything for free out there to people they are with and you do a good job at it guess what you just gain a customer because they will always want to come to you because of that free service the first offer this uh, every culture whether you are chinese african they understood it that's why when you go <laughs> at a mall you will in, in those asian area where there's asian food they are always willing to give you that chicken sample have you ever wondered why they're giving you to you to attract you right the best marketing about your product is to provide a free service first so they will give you those sample of a chicken sample of shrimp sometimes maybe shrimp is expensive but most is usually chicken or meat a tiny sample you will taste it and be like oh wow this is good and then next thing you know you're already sitting down with your plate that you just bought from their restaurant and that's how they made their money that is like marketing 101 right so the world is a market what service are you willing to provide today have you looked around you what service are people in your area looking for what problem do they have you need to find those problems and come up with solution that is how you get successful or that's how you get money right away that is where when we mean literally when we literally say that you can start from zero to uh or from nothing to uh i don't know six figure or seven figure if you are maybe sometime lucky well it's those type of things right you have to come with there are things like that that are all going to be able to provide you money and with that money in return what you can do is invest you see what i mean so you can invest that money in return you can invest in maybe in real estate you can invest in yourself by reading more book so in order for you to be able to provide services on the market you need to know this i know a lot of people are going to come with excuses like oh i have problem my life is not going right and things like that let me tell you this every single problem that you have take all of them and find solution to them why because your problem and your difficulty are going to be the source of your greatness your problem and difficulty are going to be the source of your greatness have you ever seen somebody becoming successful who didn't have to struggle i wait yeah they always have to go through struggle have you ever seen somebody becoming successful that didn't go through pain exactly they always go through pain right people can become successful because their the lack of success hurts so bad that they have no choice then to change 
you need to change your life today. You need to figure out what is around you, what service you can provide to people. There are some people that are good at mechanic, right? You don't have to necessarily go to school to, you know, to become successful. Whatever you are good at, find around you people that are having the problem with that and provide that service that you are good at to them. They will buy it, I guarantee you, because to them, it's better. I repeat, to them, it's going to be better for them to pay for your service rather than keeping, rather than keep having the problem that they are having right now. You see what I mean? So the cost that they are paying you is in insignificant to them. Why? Because they are getting a solution to their problem in return. You need to be able to find what they want and be able to provide that service. Now, uh, next thing I would like to talk about, for example, is whenever we were growing up, right, and we would go play, play pickup ball or we would go play basketball, mostly basketball for me because obviously I'm 6'7". So uh, when we would play basketball, there are certain people that we always chose first, right? <laughs> there are certain people when the ball was going to start, if you are the captain, you choose them first. Why is that? because they were providing us a skill that was going to allow us to win. So rather than focusing on other I have problem and things like that, you must focus on what skill can I acquire in order to be able to solve problems. That is the main question you should ask yourself. The biggest thing is finding solution. If you acquire skill, how do you acquire skill? You may ask, well, big step. How do you have a price skill? Well, no problem. Big step got you, man. Shit, I'm right here. I got you. So the first way of acquiring, uh, of acquiring skill is, first of all, reading. You need to read a lot. And if you don't, if you need a book that, you know, you might need my recommendation is first, you need to learn how to communicate with people in order to obtain what you want. And for that, I recommend this book called... Uh, uh, how to win uh, friends and influence people. I would really recommend it because it has a lot of lessons in there on how you can influence people, how you always want to look at things from other people's perspective, not yours, because you already know your standing. You don't need to go ahead and speak a lot about what you feel, what you believe. No, you already know that. Mostly focus on listening more than you speak. Those are the type of listen that would teach. For listen more than you speak, focus more on the other person because every single human, you, me, every human have an ego. And whenever you tap into that ego, by boosting their ego, they are willing to do a lot more for you, right? That if you can remember anything from this podcast episode is you need to be able to listen to other people, see their point of view, and boost their ego. People are happy when you give them compliment. I, I guarantee you, find any girl out there that people say ugly and give her a compliment, you will see how happy she will feel. And in return, she's going to be able to provide you things that you didn't even expect, right? Because that and people will always apologize if you apologize for If you say, hey, oh, my bad, and you boost their ego, you say, oh, I thought that this, 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 but you are right, you are right. People are more willing to hear that they are right rather than they are wrong. And for that reason, you, in return, will be successful. So, my first thing, like I said, is you need to learn how to read books. Hardcover book, by the way. I mean, some people read e-book if it works for them, but I'm mostly, I'm a hardcover guy right now. It's funny that I'm saying that because I, I was never, ever, ever the person that read at school. I, I went to college and graduated without reading books, man. So I know people will be like, how do you do it, man? Hey, don't, don't hit the brother, hit the game. But yeah, I, I wasn't reading book. I will, yeah, maybe hear a resume here from classmates and things like that, and I will know how to... Uh, Anyway, I will know how to handle my bees, you know what I mean? <laughs> so yeah, uh, first thing, learn how to read books. That is called investing in yourself, by the way. Learn also how to attend seminar. You need to attend a lot of seminar because in those seminars, you never know. You, you get in contact with people because the world is a relationship type of world, right? You have to be able to be in contact with people and those people in return 
my either provide you with your contact or my provide you knowledge either way it's a win-win for you right they will either provide you like oh this person can help you for that problem you have or help you find a solution or they might be able to say well i will be your mentor but this is what you have to do and the best thing to learn from a mentor is always to provide a free service you have nothing to lose you are already in the bottom anyway you might as well just go ahead and provide service to somebody that is going to hold your hand and show you the way. By holding your hand, mentor don't literally hold your hand step by step. No, mentor will help you figure things out. You know, they will help you figure things out. They will come up not just with a solution, but they will ask you questions that will allow you to either question yourself as to the path you are taking or question what you are doing. And in turn, it's called, uh, uh, it's a good critic, right? You analyze the critics and you see, oh yeah, he, he could be right, he's into something on this one. And then you go ahead and you start uh, applying or implementing things, right? Never forget one thing. Never, ever, ever forget one thing. In order for you to become successful, you must first have a skill. And that skill can come in various ways, right? There are some people that are good at playing guitar. If you are good at playing guitar, drop a lot of guitar song out there that people will listen to for free. You know what I mean? And people will give you critique, oh, you, you might be building your reputation. That is called branding. You, you know, just by providing free things, you will brand yourself. You know what I mean? So that is the things that uh, I would recommend to somebody that wants to be successful. You know, first you need to acquire a lot of knowledge by reading books. You need to attend seminar. And also, uh, one thing that I always, always want to emphasize is this. In order for you to become rich, you must study rich people habit. Find out what rich people do and try to duplicate that in your life. Isn't that such a simple, you know, simple uh, theory to go by? Find out what rich people do and try to duplicate it on your own. And you will become successful. You'll become rich, right? Because success leaves clues. Don't ever forget that. Success leaves clues. If they did something and they became successful, there must be some clues out there that you can go by so find out what they are doing and become successful with it. Try to duplicate that. Very simple. And another thing, if you want to stay away from poverty, <laughs> find out what people, what poor people do best and stay away from it. Poor people mishandle their financial. You need to get a grasp on your financial. You see what I mean? So those are the little things that are going to help you become successful. Find out what poor people do and try to stay away from them. Now, thank you again for listening to the podcast episode. Please feel free to go ahead, like, subscribe, and share. And if you like my podcast, man, leave comment and please, please share. Thank you, and as always, God bless. Peace.